This is a recording of an article on Wikipedia and was recorded by user Popular Outcast. The material recorded is current as of the May 26, 2008 revision of the article. Arctic Turn from Wikipedia, the Free Encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. This article is about a bird. For the aircraft named after it, see Arctic Aircraft Arctic Turn. The Arctic Tern, or Sterna paradisea, is a seabird of the tern family Sternidae. This bird has a circumpolar distribution, breeding colonially in Arctic and subarctic regions of Europe, Asia, and North America, as far south as Brittany and Massachusetts. The species is strongly migratory, seeing two summers each year as it migrates from its northern breeding grounds to the oceans around Antarctica and back, or about 24,000 miles, each year. This is the longest regular migration by any known animal. Arctic terns are medium-sized birds. They have a length of 33 to 39 centimeters and a wingspan of 76 to 85 centimeters. They are mainly gray and white plumaged with a red beak and feet, white forehead, a black nape and crown, and white cheeks. The red beak is as long as its head, straight, and has pronounced gonus. The crown is streaked white. The gray mantle is 305 millimeters and the scapulars are fringed brown, some tipped white. The upper wing is gray with a white leading edge and the collar is completely white, as is the rump. The deeply forked tail is whitish with gray outer webs. The hind crown to the ear coverts is black. Arctic terns are long-lived birds with many reaching 20 years of age. They eat mainly fish and small marine invertebrates. The species is abundant with an estimated 1 million individuals. While the trend in the number of individuals in the species as a whole is not known, exploitation in the past has reduced this bird's numbers in the southern reaches of its range. The following is a listing of the contents of this article. Section 1. Distribution and Migration. Section 2. Physical Description and Taxonomy. Section 3. Reproduction. Section 4. Ecology and Behavior. Section 5. Conservation Status. Section 6. Appearances. Section 7. Adaptations. Section 8. Further Reading. Section 9. References. Section 10. External Links. The following is an info box which accompanies this article and gives a summary of the main information about Arctic Tern to supplement the arrangement of information in this article. The Arctic Tern has a conservation status of LC, or least concern. The scientific classification for the Arctic Tern is Kingdom, Animalia, Phylum, Chordata, Class, Avis, Order, Charadriformis, Family, Sternidae, Genus, Sterna, Species, S. Paradisiae. The Arctic Tern's binomial name is Sterna Paradisiae by Pontopidon in 1763. This info box contains two images. The first has the caption, Two Arctic Terns. The second image has the caption, Breeding Grounds in Red, Wintering Grounds in Blue, and Migration Routes in Green, and shows a map with this information. Section 1. Distribution and Migration The Arctic Tern has a worldwide circumpolar breeding distribution which is continuous. There are no recognized subspecies. It can be found in coastal regions and cooler temperate parts of North America and Eurasia during the northern summer. While wintering during the southern summer, it can be found at sea, reaching the southern edge of the Antarctic ice. The species range encompasses an area of approximately 10 million square kilometers. The Arctic Tern is famous for its migration. It flies from its Arctic breeding grounds to the Antarctic and back again each year. This 19,000 kilometer journey each way ensures that this bird sees two summers per year and more daylight than any other creature on the planet.
the average arctic tern in its life will travel a distance equal to going to the moon and back about five hundred thousand miles one example of this bird's remarkable long-distance flying abilities involves an arctic tern ringed as an unfledged chick on the Farne islands northumberland u k in summer nineteen eighty two which reached melbourne australia in october nineteen eighty two a sea journey of over twenty two thousand kilometers in just three months from fledging another example is that of a chick ringed in labrador canada on july twenty third nineteen twenty eight it was found in south africa four months later arctic terns usually migrate far offshore consequently they are rarely seen from land outside the breeding season section two physical description and taxonomy the arctic tern is a medium-sized bird approximately thirty three to thirty six centimeters from the tip of its beak to the tip of its tail the wingspan is seventy six to eighty five centimeters the weight is eighty six to one hundred twenty seven grams the beak is dark red as are the short legs and webbed feet like most terns the arctic tern has high aspect ratio wings and a tail with a deep fork the adult plumage is gray above with a black nape and crown and white cheeks the upper wings are pale gray with the area near the wing tip being translucent the tail is white and the underparts pale gray both sexes are similar in appearance the winter plumage is similar but the crown is whiter and the bills are darker juveniles differ from adults in their black bill and legs scaly appearing wings and mantle with dark feather tips, dark carpal wing bar, and short tail streamers. During their first summer, juveniles also have a wider forecrown. The species has a variety of calls, the two most common being the alarm call, made when possible predators, such as humans or other mammals, enter the colonies, and the advertising call. The advertising call is social in nature, made when returning to the colony and during aggressive encounters between individuals. It is unique to each individual turn, and as such it serves a similar role to the bird song of passerines identifying individuals. Eight other calls have been described, from begging calls made by females during mating to attack calls made while swooping at intruders. While the arctic tern is similar to the common and roseate terns, its coloring, profile, and call are slightly different. Compared to the common tern, it has a longer tail and monocolored bill, while the main differences from the roseate are its slightly darker color and longer wings. The arctic tern's call is more nasal and rasping than that of the common, and is easily distinguishable from that of the roseate. The bird's closest relatives are a group of south polar species, the South American, Kerguelen, and Antarctic terns. On the wintering grounds, the Arctic tern can be distinguished from these relatives. The six-month difference in molt is the best clue here, with Arctic terns being in winter plumage during the southern summer. The southern species also do not show darker wingtips in flight. Two images accompany this section of the article. The first image has the caption, An Arctic Tern in Finland. The second image has the caption, An Arctic Tern in Flight with Wings Spread. Section 3. Reproduction. Arctic terns mate for life and in most cases return to the same colony each year. Breeding begins around the third or fourth year. Courtship is elaborate, especially in birds nesting for the first time. Courtship begins with a so-called high flight, where a female will chase the male to a high altitude and then slowly descend. This display is followed by fish flights, where the male will offer fish to the female. Courtship on the ground involves strutting with a raised tail and lowered wings. After this, both birds will usually fly and circle each other. Both sexes agree on a site for a nest, and both will defend the site. During this time, the male continues to feed the female. Mating occurs shortly after this. Breeding takes place in colonies on coasts, islands, and occasionally inland on tundra near water. It often forms mixed flocks with the common tern. It lays from one to three eggs per clutch, most often two. 
It is one of the most aggressive terns, fiercely defensive of its nest and young. It will attack humans and large predators, usually striking the top or back of the head. Although it is too small to cause serious injury, it is still capable of drawing blood. Other birds can benefit from nesting in an area defended by arctic terns. The nest is usually a depression in the ground, which may or may not be lined with bits of grass or similar materials. The eggs are mottled and camouflaged. Both sexes share incubation duties. The young hatch after 22 to 27 days and fledge after 21 to 24 days. If the parents are disturbed and flush from the nest frequently, the incubation period could be extended to as long as 34 days. When hatched, the chicks are downy. Neither altricial nor precocial, the chicks begin to move around and explore their surroundings within one to three days after hatching. Usually they do not stray far from the nest. Chicks are brooded by the adults for the first ten days after hatching. Both parents care for hatchlings. Chick diets always include fish, and parents selectively bring larger prey items to chicks than they eat for themselves. Males bring more food than females. Feeding by the parents lasts for roughly a month before being weaned off slowly. After fledging, the juveniles learn to feed themselves, including the difficult method of plunge diving. They will fly south to winter with the help of their parents. Arctic terns are long-lived birds that spend considerable time raising only a few young, and are thus said to be K-selected. The maximum recorded lifespan for the species is 34 years. A lifespan of 20 years may not be unusual, with a study in the foreign islands estimating an annual survival rate of 82%. Two images accompany this section of the article. The first image has the caption, A Nesting Arctic Tern at Foreign Islands, Northumberland, England. The second image has the caption, an arctic tern chick on the Farne Islands, Northumberland, England. Section 4. Ecology and Behavior The diet of the arctic tern varies depending on location and time, but is usually carnivorous. In most cases, it eats small fish or marine crustaceans. Fish species comprise the most important part of the diet and account for more of the biomass consumed than any other food. Prey species are immature, or one to two year old, shoaling species such as herring, cod, sand lances, and capelin. Among the marine crustaceans eaten are amphipods, crabs, and krill. Sometimes these birds also eat mollusks, marine worms, or berries, and on their northern breeding grounds, insects. Arctic terns sometimes dip down to the surface of the water to catch prey close to the surface. They may also chase insects in the air when breeding. It is also thought that arctic terns may, in spite of their small size, occasionally engage in kleptoparasitism by swooping at birds so as to startle them into releasing their catches. Several species are targeted. Conspecifics, other terms like the common term, and some auk and grebe species. While nesting, arctic terns are vulnerable to predation by cats and other animals. Besides being a competitor for nesting sites, the larger herring gull steals eggs and hatchlings. Camouflaged eggs help prevent this, as do isolated nesting sites. While feeding, skuas, gulls, and other tern species will often harass the birds and steal their food. They often form mixed colonies with other terns, such as common and sandwich terns. Section 5. Conservation Status Arctic terns are considered threatened or species of concern in certain states. They are also among the species to which the Agreement on the Conservation of African-Eurasian Migratory Waterbirds applies. The species declined in New England in the late 19th century due to hunting for the millinery trade. Exploitation continues today in western Greenland, where the species has declined greatly since 1950. At the southern part of their range, the arctic tern has been declining in numbers. Much of this is due to shortages of food. However, most of these birds' range is extremely remote, with no apparent trend in the species as a whole. BirdLife International has considered the species to be at lower risk since 1988 
believing that there are approximately one million individuals around the world. This section contains an image with the caption, An Arctic Turn Up Close. Section 6, Appearances. The Arctic Turn has appeared on the postage stamps of several countries and dependent territories. Territories include the Oland Islands, Alderney, and Faroe Islands. Countries include Canada, Finland, Iceland, and Cuba. Section 7, Adaptations. Arctic terns camouflage their eggs to protect them, and they live in groups called colonies. Section 8, Further Reading. This section includes a list of books where you can find additional information regarding the subject matter of this article. Book 1 is by Peter Harrison, published in 1983, and titled Seabirds. Section 9, References. There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 10, External Links. This section includes a list of external websites where you can find additional information on the subject matter of this article. Link 1 is titled, Arctic Turn Videos. Link 2 is titled, Cornell Laboratory of Ornithology Species Account. Link 3 is titled, Archive Images, with archive spelled A-R-K-I-V-E. Additionally, there is a link for Wikipedia Commons, which has media related to Sterna paradisia. Another link to wiki species has information related to Arctic Tern. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.